Hi, this is Dr. Krishnan and I'm a molecular virologist. For the past 16 years, my team at CCMB has been researching on multiple aspects of host responses to human viral infections. The key objectives of the research are first to characterize novel mechanisms of host innate immune response to viral infections and then to use this knowledge in order to develop novel therapeutics in a targeted approach. Viruses can enter our bodies through multiple ports and they can also infect non-immune cells. The best opportunity for our body is to fight the virus at the port of entry itself. Non-immune cells have a problem that they can't depend on the adaptive immune response. Fortunately, our cells have evolved mechanisms to identify distinct structural patterns on the viruses and then to mount responses against them by activating several signal pathways resulting in the production of chemical mediators called cytokines such as interferons. These cytokines in turn trigger a massive transcriptional reprogramming in the infected and the neighboring cells, preparing them to fight out the virus. Recent advancements have shown that the antiviral responses are tightly integrated with the metabolic state of the cell and also mitochondrial dynamics. Viruses being obligate intercellular parasites rely on host cell to replicate and propagate. By this, they hijack host cellular machinery and affects global translation. The viruses may use receptors and the specificity of this interaction is akin to a key fitting into a lock, with each virus possessing a unique key that matches the structure of particular cellular receptors. The diversity in host cell receptors contributes to the broad spectrum or selectivity of viral tropism. We at our lab use different molecular techniques to understand how viruses infect different cells distinctly and how different cells mount immune response against the viruses. We also use mouse as our animal model to understand host immune response better. Traditionally considered as a powerhouse of the cell, mitochondria over the past decade have developed as a central hub in regulating the antiviral response. Viruses often strategize to manipulate mitochondria to replicate and survive in the cell. So it is very crucial to understand the integrate alterations in the mitochondria during viral infections. Recently, SARS-CoV-2 has been our primary focus. To study SARS-CoV-2 and similar viruses, we operate within a biosafety level facility where we must be decked up in full personal protective equipment to handle live viruses. We infect various epithelial cells with the virus, isolate mitochondria using ultracentrifugation and analyze the diverse regulatory markers of mitochondrial dynamics in infected samples. Mitochondria also forms contacts with other organelles inside our cell, specifically endoplasmic reticulum. And these contact sites have been known to regulate antiviral mechanisms. In our lab, we use a blend of confocal and super resolution microscopy techniques to answer how the structural changes happen in these contact sites during viral infections. We explore the intriguing field of virus evolution Tracking and understanding genomic differences is essential to predict the change in virus transmissibility and virulence as the variants evolve. We study variant-specific changes in replicative fitness using global transcriptomics and proteomic approaches. When creating therapeutic antibodies, we use classical technique to generate antibodies that can neutralize the virus. As therapeutic agents, these antibodies have demonstrated great promise in treating COVID-19 patients and showed extremely positive outcome in phase 2 clinical trials. This adds to the broader arsenal of antiviral strategies. As a research enthusiast with a passion for virology, I found my way to join this lab. Joining here provided me an excellent hands-on exposure to several techniques. Research always excites me. 
This lab provides a unique opportunity to enrich my knowledge and experience on several molecular aspects of viruses. I am grateful for this chance to contribute in the field of virology. I recently joined this lab as a PhD student. I am always curious to know how viruses escape our defense system. Now I feel that I am in the right place to pursue my passion over research in the world of viruses. We have been researching on this front very actively in the past few years by integrating several cutting-edge technologies such as next-generation sequencing, proteomics and advanced microscopy. The cool thing about CCMB is that it provides all these facilities under one roof so that we can fulfill our scientific aspirations.